Alright guys, so we are back for one more round of multi summons to try and get LR Go on. He has a 0.2% pull rate on average, about a little bit under 0.2. But essentially it is going to be a 0.2, it's actually 0.19%. Um, there are a whole bunch of good characters on this banner as well. Personally, I would like to get some more Vegetas and another Go Kid Gohan as well. Um, I don't need any more of the uh, Super Saiyan Gokus. Actually, I think I need one more of him to get a, one more Dupath unlocked. Then I could Doken Waken him when he becomes available to Doken Waken. But um, overall, uh, yeah, I pretty much just want that LR Gohan. <laughs> so I've been seeing a lot of my friends pull him and everything, so I'm really hoping that I can get some luck. What we're doing is we're going to do three multi-summons, and I'm saving 15 stones for the World Tournament. Just because the World Tournament is coming this weekend, and I do plan on participating all day Saturday, like literally from the time that I wake up on Saturday all the way till the time it ends, I'll be going hard because I, I want that Gohan. But anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and do three more multi-summons on this banner. Second multi-summon will be a group summon, so if you want to you know, do a group summon with me or any type of summon, no matter what game you're playing, whatever you're doing, go ahead, get your phones out, get ready to do that, and we will do that multi-summon together. And right now we have going, we're going. At SS2, no Super Saiyan 3. Uh, also, pull rates are pretty high for that Super Saiyan Goku and the Kid Gohan as well. So, uh, maybe we will get one of them. And the Vegeta is 1.5% as well. <laughs> the um, uh, extreme intelligence support unit Vegeta. Oh man, Master Roshi. What garbage? Come on, man. Hook me up. Start giving me, give me SSRs, man. Give me some SSRs. But yeah, I know, I, I went really, really ham on this guy. So a lot of people are telling me, oh, bro, you're, you're wiling out. I know, I get it. I, I am wiling it out. But you know what? If you guys, you guys don't understand how hard I went for that Gohan during the second year anniversary, I, I went pretty freaking ham for that for that card. I did not get him. Though I have like 30-something freaking metal, so I'm ready to uh, get him Doken Waken. Uh, anyway, um, all right, cool. So I didn't get a damn thing on this one, so that kind of sucks. I'm just going to get a whole bunch of Zenny. That's all I know. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do another set of multi-summons. This one is going to be the group summon, by the way, guys. Another two pods, what the hell? Alright, so we're going to do, uh, do what we typically do, 3, 2, 1, release. On release, that's when we're going to release. So, what, get out whatever devices you use, whatever games you're playing, and let's go ahead and do this. I already have it pulled down, alright? So we're going to do 3, 2, 1, release. Releasing, we got the rainbow and base form. That means crack screen. Come on, baby, come on. Lord, you guess, hook me up. Please. Please hook me up. Oh, man. I was watching Animated Muscles video the other day. This dude got, like, thousands of freaking stones and he pulled them on, like, his fourth multi-summon. That was super salty, but really, congrats, bro. <laughs> oh, man. We'll see what we got here, though. Who knows? Oh, by the way, at the end of this multi-summon video, we're going to go ahead and take... Oh, freaking Videl. I mean, I only needed one more of her to manage to finish her off. I think I only needed one more for the dude system. For two of them! Wow! Okay, cool. That's awesome, though I don't really, like, need her. <laughs> um, awesome. I guess I'll have to go ahead and check her out. I think she's going to be fully maxed out now. Um, alright guys, let me know down in the comments below what you pulled. Um, hopefully you guys have better luck than I did. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like this Fidel, she's a really good unit. But I don't ever really plan on spending any orbs on her. At all. So, <laughs> whatever, whatever. She gets over, if she ever gets a Doken Awakening, there we go. Anyway, guys, last one. Keeping my fingers crossed. Let's really hope, see what happens. Um, again, unless I pull LR Gohan in this multi-summon, we're going to be jumping into the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta banner. Wow, Mad Pods. All right, cool. Um, Rainbow, Mad Pods, Super Saiyan. Uh, that way I can just showcase the Intelligence Kid Boo Extreme Team if I can find them. If not, I'll just throw like, oh, Super Saiyan 3. Hell yeah. Um, that way I'll just throw like an LR Gohan friend um, there. Oh, cool. You know what? I, I did want one of him. I think I only had one dupe of him. Now I have two dupes. That's cool. Uh, Tarble. Cora. You can get the hell out of there, Cora. We don't want you. Hercule. Krillin. Uh, it's Krillin. Oh, hell yeah! Alright, you know why I'm stoked on this one, guys? I don't have this Piccolo. I'm actually happy. You know what pisses me off? He has the same pull rate as LR Gohan. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> I'm so freaking... Oh my god, I'm so salty right now. You don't understand. So salty right now, so I'm not going to get any more freaking SSRs in this freaking pull. Oh, god damn. Alright, well, whatever, we're going to go ahead and we're going to save him, and we're going to go, look, you know what, real quick, we're just going to go ahead and just take a look at the freaking Videls, because, um, oh yeah, I decided to use some Elder Kai's on this um, Super Saiyan 3 Goku while I was doing some grinding. Uh, so there's this Gohan, we now have that. We're going to do the bottom right-do path on him as well. 
And the reasoning beca is because um, the bottom right Dupath, he is technically semi-farmable. There is an agility unit of him. I don't ever plan on feeding it in. If I get him, I'm going to keep it there until like I'm ready to. But I, I, unless I get LR Gohan, I'm really not going to run a Super Gogeta team. Because I don't have the units to run it. I have like the supporting units, but I don't have anything else. Um, oh yeah, I forgot about the Videl. So let's just go. Sometimes my game likes to lag on me. It, it's really a pain in the ass. Alright, so there's my Videl. Um, oh, perfect. Actually, I just needed two more of her. So... That actually allows me to finish up. She is at Super Attack 10 because I got all the other SR Videls because she is a very common SR pull um, in Summon. So now she has all of her dupes unlocked. I'm pretty sure she doesn't awaken though, so um, I, I don't think she awakens anyway. Uh, let's see over here. Does she? Um, well, she's going to be an ultra rare. So we will have to... Yeah, she doesn't awaken yet. So if she ever does awaken, she's all set because I like I, like I said I already have her at Super Attack 10 maxed out. Now she has all four dupe paths unlocked. She is my favorite waifu card just because she's a debuffer. She just debuffs everyone like crazy, so she'll be good um, in the future. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and jump now into the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta event with my Kipu team. So yeah, I've been playing this already. I. Oh, damn. I'll be right back so I can clear out my box. Completely forgot. All right, and we're back. We're going to go ahead and take on this event. As you see here, I have my full Kid Boo team with essentially the most optimal lineup. The only thing that's not optimal is the Extreme Trunks. That would be replaced by the Korra when he gets Doken Awaken. At this time, he does not have a Doken Awakening. Um, so we're going to be using the Trunks, though. All right, Honestly, th that this. Trunks isn't bad. So Korra gives Key and he gives um, Attack and Defense Boost. I'm pretty sure it's Attack and Defense. Uh, the Trunks only gives defense, but the defense is at 30%. So it's really, really not that bad. Um, actually, you know what we're going to do? I'm just gonna, I'm already on the wiki, so I'm going to go ahead and look at the Korra Disambiguation and take a look to see what that Mecha Korra act gives when he gets Doken Awakened. And that is... Okay, so he is Extreme Type Key plus 2 and Attack plus 30%. Uh, the Trunks is, ex uh, is just Intelligence Type Key plus 3 and defense plus uh, 30%. So, you know, do you take it for what you, for what it's worth? My opinion is both of them are very viable. Neither of them hit really hard as it is. Korra will hit a little bit harder just because he already he has the attack boost of 30% and he has a 12 key multiplier of 140 with a, um, uh, well, he only has an extreme damage modifier. So honestly, at the end of the day, both of them are not going to hit well. It's whether you take more of a defense boost or an attack boost. Now, personally, I like the trunks because it's key plus three and then a defense boost, so it helps everyone tank a little bit more. But, you know, again, you take it for what you will. I like having this setup myself. Oh, this is a really bad setup, actually. <laughs> um, I, which one between Turles and... So, Turles has... So, Vegeta has better defense. Um, all right, cool. I should be good here. I don't see there being any problem. Uh, we'll just go ahead and, you know, play it safe anyway. So essentially on this event, the only time that you really have to worry is when Super Saiyan 4, Goku, and Vegeta are both on the map. That's when I'll be using my Icarus. The map, the, 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 it's going to go a little bit longer than, than, you know, it normally would. Um, just because there's no extremely hard-hitting units on this team. There are some decent units. A uh, good thing too here is we have both Turles and Vegeta. Both of them have a chance to stun. Um, apparently neither of them had to go off. Super Saiyan 4 Goku, 10 times command may. We'll do some damage to me. 107,000. As long as I can get... Yeah, here we go. So I should, should be good on this. Yeah, damn, see? Now that, yeah, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do this because we're going to want... Yeah, we're going to want to heal. So let's see what we got for healing. We should be good. So my, um, my Buhan, not only does he heal, he is 100%, as you guys are probably, probably already aware. He hits really hard, and he blocks everything. Um, I really wish he got a, a, a Super Coast Kamikaze attack, though. Fortunately, he doesn't, but look at that. 81. Let's see this. He blasts 91. And Super... Ooh, and damn. Maybe he could dodge? 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 Uh, no, dodge. But only 80,000 there. So, yeah. You could just tell. 100% Buhan. Sick, sick card. Freaking love it. Unfortunately, his uh, healing doesn't isn't percentage-based, but... Whatever, what can you do? There we go. Now we have the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. They are coming on the next round. This is the pain in the butt round to run them on. Uh, it actually is pretty damn cool the way it's currently set up for me, though. So this is what we're going to do. I have my Sensu Bean. I'm going to heal up. 
Because of the current setup with Janemba, I am not going to be using that, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, freaking uh, Icarus. I don't need it. I'm only going to be using my, um, oh, what is it? Freaking, uh, Sensor Bean. <laughs> I can't think. I don't know what's going on. Every night I come, I come back home and I go to record a video and I just, I can't think about what I want to say. Uh, maybe it's just I'm so hyped and I'm still... Th I actually am. I am thinking about those other songs. Um, so, so, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. He goes. Look at this. Nothing. 31,000. That is it. Too bad the Super Saiyan 4 Goku didn't super attack him. That would have been freaking awesome. But there's almost no damage going on. That is the one thing that really sucks about these... Uh, about going up against this vent with, with cards that don't hit as hard. Now again, guys, I'm not saying that these are bad units. I'm just saying they don't hit as hard. The only one that has a really good hit rate... Um, I will not hit rate. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and use the Icarus. Um, is the Buhan, but only when like something like this happens, when I get all these orbs, and when he gets a Super Ghost Kamikaze attack go off. So that's the only time that it really, really works well. But anyway, um, I do still like this Mono Extreme team, and this is why, because that Super Saiyan 4 Goku is going to do a super attack, I kind of hope that the Vegeta doesn't. We'll see what happens with him. Um, and he gets a vice shout, so it's not like I could even get the, uh, lots of damage. Did he get knocked out, though? Did he, though? No, he did. Awesome. That actually benefits me. And then the Kid Buu. So, the Kid Buu, he, this is actually his optimal setup. You have him, and you have Buhan as the one linking buddy, and then Vegeta. I forgot the link that Vegeta hits off that Buhan doesn't. But it still gives him a nice little attack buff. So, as you saw, he, I think he had, like, 1.7 before he dealt out his actual damage. And now we have our primary rotation. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch these two because, as you, as you can tell, my friend does not have a lot of buff in him, and Janemba has 21,000 defense. So, defense is higher. We're going to go ahead and use the Intelligence Orb. If you guys are new here, one thing I want you guys to understand is that the defense... I don't have the math down. I actually watched it on the Dokkan blog. I read it on the Dokkan blog. And the defense... It, uh, heals you based off of how high your defense is and you get like a certain there's a mathematical equation and long story short um the more that the, the more orbs you get with a higher defense the more you heal so you know go for whoever has the highest defense make sure you give them the most orbs unless it's someone like buhan um but even at that point he heals himself at 3500 per orb so it doesn't really matter Anyway, I'm, I'm rambling on. That's something for another video entirely. I just wanted to explain to you why you ch or why I chose the Janemba instead of the Kid Buu. And there we go. And honestly, the rest of this time, because it's just a tech battle at this point, um, I'm pretty much golden between the amount of attacking and everything between both of them. The good thing is, and, you know, no one could ever call me out if I want to fast forward. I was thinking about just like you know fast forward until the last match, just because or the last round or last couple of bars of health, just because I'm at the 15, well, not really 15 minute. Um, I took a ton of time as earlier in the video, as you were aware. Uh, oh, well, maybe my Buhan can just, you know, do his job <laughs> and get this, um, uh, get the Super Ghost Kamikaze attack. Can we? Can we? Yes, we got the Super Ghost Kamikaze attack. Let's look at this. Look at this damage. 923,000. I didn't get a lot of orbs, but still. And now, the last freaking battle, as you all know, this freaking pain in the butt battle. It's actually funny, so I had this, I have a mono Super Saiyan 4 Goku team, and it's a really good freaking team. I just could never beat this freaking battle with them. I, I don't know why, I just could never do it, and it was a pain in the butt trying to. So, the fact that I have this team and it's just, I win so easily, it's freaking, it's, it's great. I feel so freaking good, so much revenge. <laughs> and who knows, maybe my Vegeta can freaking stun him, so that way I get that taken care of. Then we got my Janemba, 726,000. Look at that damage. And this is an old school unit, guys. It's not even like he's like a newer unit. He's over a year old. He's doing some damn good damage. So if anyone is thinking about, you know, maxing him out, with whether, whether you're wondering if you should get him Super Attack 10 or not, uh, yeah, he's worth it. <laughs> he's definitely worth it, in my opinion. I really like the card. I like how hard he hits, but especially when he crits. He doesn't crit often. Um, I do have him set up for max crit for what he can get. Um, again, it's not a lot just because he has base dodge, so not a lot. But whatever, what can you do? Alright, cool. So, look at these Goku spread out. What a freaking pain this guy is. Um, we're not going to get a lot of healing with him over here right now with the Buhan. But, I think... 
Yeah, we're gonna let Turles get a super attack off. Maybe if I can get another super ghost kamikaze attack, it'll hook, help hook me up. Um, but again, look at this. With the Buhan at 100%, he's only doing 2-3,000 two, two, damage. Alright, cool. Vice Shout, he gets a 1 million damage. And with debuff due to his guard, it goes down to 700,000. Look at that, Kid Buu, 155, well, 1,500,000. That's what he's probably gonna go 1.2. I'm gonna say 1.2. Oh no, just one. Alright, cool, and here we go. Yo, I would love to see a dodge on that. Too bad. But look at that, look how freaking sick that animation is. He just goes from being there to just disappearing back. Oh, this is a freaking, this is gonna be a little bit more of a longer battle. But again, guys, yes, it is a longer battle, but. I only had to use items when I wasn't going up against the tech uh, variant of him. I'm healing myself like crazy um, with these guys. So I only use one Sensu Bean and one Icarus. It's worth it. The, this team is freaking so, so sick. <laughs> They're like um, Chris Brown, so, so dead. Uh, anyway, what do I going to do? So we're going to do this with Janema. The Janema's primary um, action is to defend. So we're not going to really... But we're not gonna, you know, give him the super attack over the Kid Buu. Uh, let's see what we got here. And Kid Buu, 1 million damage. Take like 700 down. There we go. And that is it, guys. So, I was pretty happy with that. Fortunately, I still don't have that LR Gohan. Oh, man. I'm, I'm actually really freaking upset. You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys real quick that I didn't purchase the freaking... Uh, the the battlefield medals and when the hell is battlefield actually coming to dokkan battle i mean the global side anyway i mean i know it's a grind fest i know it's really boring for a lot of us but at the same time i just want to see it i want i mean if they're not going to give it to us that way what are they going to do give us it in baba shop as a 777 purchase i mean or a thousand purchase who knows i, I think that's a little bit bull <laughs> honestly i think that would be bull if they were to do something like that but yes, as you can see here, I haven't bought any. Um, 28 times left of the 50 ones and 7 times of the small Ultima Clash. And as you can see, I have 33 of them. That 33 is from the 2 year anniversary from the banner, the Super Saiyan 4 banner. That's where those came from. So, just so you're aware, I have a hell of a lot of them. So I'm ready to Dokken Wink in almost every. But anyway guys, thank you for joining me here today. Um, I have a hell of a lot of Elder Kai's. I decided to SA20 my freaking Broly last night. Um, anyway, yep, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you are new. Make sure to punch that like button, and I'll catch you guys in the next week's or tomorrow's video.